Hey, hello everyone, this is Divine Irony from Ghosts EU, and this is part 130 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. Uh, this will be the last video uh, we're going to be in uh, Zoldrak. Uh, at the end of this, uh, well, actually, midway through this video, we're going to be moving uh, to Ice Crown. Yes, we're not going to be going to Sholos Abyssin at all. Uh, because Ice Crown has a lot more quests uh, and they give more experience and it's quick as level, so we're going to be going to Ice Crown. So, yeah, uh, we're doing a few quests uh, left uh, in uh, Zoldrak first. First of all, we have to collect uh, 10, no, 12 Gundrak Raptor eggs. Uh, no, this is not the place uh, where you get the Gundrak pet. The Gundrak pet. Uh, still uh, drops uh, from the Gundrak Raptors. There isn't a nest for them. The nest uh, is only uh, for the pets that dropped from a rare elite. Uh, so uh, presumably it was, a, it was to stop the rare elites being farmed, but now they get farmed anyway because they're just in the same area as the egg, so they both get killed. So I don't understand why there was why there needed to be a nest. I don't understand Blizzard's reasoning for it. So yeah, uh, the other thing we have to do is we need to do the Akali unfettered from his chains. We need to free Akali. To do this, we need to click on all these little bond uh, bondages here, these little chains. Uh, we need to kill the trolls next to them and then click on the chains. Uh, there's five of them, I think, and then we need to uh, fly up and watch from above uh, while Akali goes absolutely mental and starts attacking every troll in the area. And more trolls than I've ever freaking seen in the entire zone then start attacking at once. Uh, Akali is kicking ass for, as you can see here, he is doing awesome. Uh, the trolls are barely doing any damage to him, and he's what the fuck pwning at this like 40 man raid of trolls. Uh, but of, however, the profit of Akali comes, and one shots Akali by using drain power. By drain power, Akali is now dead, and everyone is sad, sad faces. And now this was the last quest we we've, we're doing for Zuldrak, and we're going to be leaving now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go to Iron Forge to get some new abilities first. Uh, maybe we are, maybe we aren't. I didn't look in the video. So yeah. Uh, and this is it. So let's Hearthstone and go to Dalaran. And there we go. We're in Dalaran. Isn't that great? Yeah, it is. It is a very great, 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 great feeling. Great, great, great feeling. Great, great, great. Do, 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 do. There we are going to Iron Forge. That's very, very good. Yeah, very, very, very good. Very good indeed. Indeed. There we go. Got some new abilities. Upgrade to... We got an ability called Lava Burst, uh, which is a cast ability. Uh, but does one... Uh, it actually does quite a lot of damage, really, for a casting ability. Uh, it says whenever you have a Flame Shark on a target and use Lava Burst, it does a critical. Uh, should you use it as Enhancement Shaman, guys? I don't know, because it does seem to do quite a bit of damage. I don't know how it works with correspondence to the melee. Your melee hits as well. Uh, but it does seem to do quite a lot of damage by leveling, so I do actually use it in the rotation. I don't know if I should or not. Uh, tell me if you've got an Enhancement Shaman or no otherwise, because that would be very helpful. Because I need to start learning to play Enhancement Shaman now, and not just level 1. Okay, as you can see here, we are in Ice Crown and in the Argent Camp here. And we've got a few quests to do. There's the Scourge Tactics quest, the Curling, Curing the Uncurable quest, and the Defending the Vanguard quest. Okay, the first quest we need to do is we need to free uh, eight webbed crusaders. You won't always get a crusader inside uh, the webs. Somehow you'll get a TARDIS type effect and the uh, a massive forgotten depth Nerubian will pop out of this very, very small webbed thing. Uh, the other quest we have to do is we need to collect uh, 10 Forgotten Depths Venom Sacks and we need to kill 15 Forgotten Depths Nerubians. Uh, the Venom Sacks drop off the Nerubians, so basically it's a quest for doing exactly the same thing as you were doing before. So, yeah, you might, you might as well Blizzard have just given twice the experience for killing the Nerubians because it's basically is it. That's, that's all it is. So, yeah. Uh, we've almost completed the Forgotten Depths ne and the Venom Sacks now. As you can see, the Depths and Rubians everywhere. They pop at the ground randomly as a respawn. They don't respawn by just appearing. They pop out of the ground in this kind of like cool animation effect, which I think is quite nice. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, we're going to need to kill three more now, so let's do it. Let's do 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 it. Let's do 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 it. Do it it it. it. And also, for said some of the uh, crusaders will help you. Uh, why is my uh, griffin freezing in midair? I don't know. Uh, there we go. Fifteen forgotten deaths and rubians, and now uh, we've got some some got some new. Uh, we just got a trinket there. That trinket gives something to expertise. I don't know if it's good or not, but I think it's good, so I just equipped it. Because it's better than my blue one, even though... Yeah, even though it's a blue one, it's a level 70 blue one, so it's not that good. Uh, the quest we're doing now is one quest. Uh, we're flying, as you can see, on a bronze proto. I think it's a bronze proto, anyway. Uh, and uh, we need to free... Uh, we, need, well, we need to save three captured crusaders who have been injured. So you fly on your uh, protodrake who seems to be having some kind of seizure effect and doesn't seem to want to move at all. And I'm sorry for the flashy light so it does kind of hurt my eyes a bit. I'm sorry, it's it's just what the abilities does. Really, really annoying that light show. Uh, you just pick them up uh, in your talons and you fly them back to... Uh, the Crusader resting camp or the infirmary and there you go you just drop off and you hand in the quest uh, to Tyrion Fordring. Now Tyrion Fordring wants us to talk to this uh, goblin now once you talk to the goblin uh, the the zone changes and as you can see now there's a massive attack uh, by the Leech King uh, we need to destroy 100 scourge attackers these can be any of the Nerubians on the, on the ground and we need to kill three Frostbroad destroyers, which are these little, very, very big uh, frostworms here. Uh, you use your number one ability until you get to 100%, uh, uh, and when you do 100%, you can have some sort of reckoning bomb, uh, which is kind of like a holy bomb or holy hand grenade or something, and it kills everything in the immediate area. As you can see here, we've almost finished. Uh, we get knocked off uh, that. Uh, we just got knocked off that cannon there because the Frostbud Destroyer decided to turn on us and attack us. Uh, not that good, no it wasn't. Uh, we just got an upgrade to a trinket, a Fezix Pocket Watch. And now we need to fly uh, to talk to the uh, the Ebon Watcher, which is uh, Darian Morgrain, I think that's what he's called. Uh, and some quests for the Knights of the Ebon Blade. Uh, but before we do any quests for them, uh, we're going to be going to uh, what's the place in Leaf Dalaran? Crystal Song Forest, and doing two quests uh, about there uh, for the Norm and the Forsaken uh, Miner. Uh, the two quests we're doing are the the Stone the Star the Revolution, and it could kill us all. No, that's not it. No, we're doing three quests. Uh, we're doing the it could kill us all Stone the Star the Revolution. Uh, and the Restless Dead quest, I think, yeah. Uh, we need to collect a Crystalline Heartwood. These are found on the floor. These are like these floating checkers type things. Uh, if you don't know what checkers are, f l think of them as glowing giant mints, because that that's basically what they are. Uh, you can also collect some of these Elven artifacts. You need to collect ten of them. These are found in the uh, ancient zones. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to kill... Uh, yeah, we, no, there's two quests we're doing. We need to kill, collect eight crystallized energy from the uh, mobs uh, around the area. These are the Chandralar. Uh, the the Chandralar mobs, these little spirit type night elves. Uh, or the. Um, uh, or the uh, satyrs, uh, but uh, usually you will have to kill more than you need to in order to collect uh, all the ancient elven masonry because they seem to be guarding it quite intently. Of course they would because of the tie to the zone and would you really want your home? Uh, w w you wouldn't be really happy if someone came into your home and took your TV and said, uh, this is for a quest mate. Yeah, they wouldn't really, no. So you can understand why they're very, very pissed off that you're taking this stuff. Yeah. Even though it's the equivalent of taking a dish towel, but uh, never mind. You wouldn't really want to give rid, get rid of a dish towel anyway. You don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, this was the quest now, I think. And there we go. So the... Okay, we're almost finished now, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope uh, you liked this video. And I hope to see you in part uh, 131. Bye-bye, guys. And we're doing a quest now for the Argent Crusade uh, in the Ice Crown Scourge bit, if you couldn't understand. Uh, so, bye-bye.